Good morning, Glacier Peak. Give a warm welcome to your master of ceremonies, Mr. Brett Ortsman. What is happening, Glacier Peak? How y'all doing? You ready for some power up action? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I hate this shtick, but I do it every time. I was watching West Valley this morning, and they were up at 9 a.m., and they were louder than that. So let's try it again. Are you ready for power up action? Thank you. That's better. You know, I am, I am stoked to be here. This is going to be a really great event. It's week four, and yet we've got five teams showing up for the first time for Power Up. Where are our first time player teams at? Big hand for them. We're very excited about that. Uh, let me see who else is here. We've got one rookie team. They played already this year, but they're back for more. Where's 7118 at? Shout out to the Scott Bots. Uh, let's see what else. We've got three teams here who already have a blue banner this year and are looking for more. Those teams are very excited. We've got five of the six teams that showed up in the finals at this event last year, including all three defending Glacier Peak event champions. 492, 2930, 2928. Uh, and we've got two teams at this event, fresh off an appearance on Einstein in Houston. Where's 2903 Neobots? And of course, your reigning world champions, 2928, say hey. This is going to be an awesome time. 36 teams total, 35 of them from here in Washington, and our friends from Shockwave coming all the way up from Hillsboro to hang out. So thank you all for joining us. All right, enough of me. Uh, you don't want to hear me talk. I want to introduce you to three much more important people. We've got a short video here from first founder, Dean Kamen, first distinguished advisor, Woody Flowers, and first president, Don Bosi. Let's take a look. Welcome to the first robotics competition. It's almost time to play for real. This is real life, not a video game. As you work to defeat the boss in first power up, we know you'll make this another great competition filled with gracious professionalism. Without the support of your mentors, parents, sponsors, suppliers, and our terrific event volunteers, many of whom are alumni, there would be no first. They've led the way for you with their dedication, assistance, and talents to thank them for making this real. And as you help FIRST make this a better world, you continue to impress with your creativity, teamwork, and resolve. So a big thanks from FIRST to you. This year, you really are in the game. And taking it to the next level. So good luck to all. And it's time for FIRST, first Power Up. Up. Super cool. All right, um, I have the privilege of introducing our one and only speaker this morning. Uh, this young man is an alumnus, uh, class of 2016 from right here at Glacier Peak High School and Team 2930, the Sonic Squirrels. He was a Dean's List semifinalist in 2015. He is a sophomore studying mechanical engineering at the University of Washington, and this is really cool, he told me. Uh, he currently works in game design and field element design for RoboSub, an underwater autonomous submarine competition. So I expect you all to ask him about that. <laughs> Please welcome Ian Good. Hello, hello everyone, can you hear me all right? Wonderful. Glad to be out here today. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I wanted to take a brief moment here and thank all of you all, you know, everyone here for, for coming. You know, we've got volunteers, we have mentors, we have parents, we have people who've traveled, you know, from different states uh, to make it out here today. And I just wanted to thank all of you uh, for, for making my life and so much better, you know. Uh, first has really changed who I am uh, and, and made me a significantly better person 
And I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for, for making this program so successful and for building this great support network and community for, for all of us. So, so thank you. Now, uh, a little history about me. I come from a small town, Monroe. I live next to 80,000 acres of Department of Natural Resources land and forest. And I went to schools uh, before high school of about 300 people from K to 12. So really small. Um, coming to Glacier Peak, I was incredibly scared. The, the, my graduating class was bigger than the entire school uh, that I was at uh, previously. And I was nervous, you know, as many freshmen were, but the first community was there for me. I, you know, showed up to robotics and, and really found my niche. And, and it really empowered me to, to learn a lot and, and reach out and become a lot more extroverted and, and, you know, more passionate and expressive for the things that I enjoyed in life. Uh, and that was only possible because of this incredibly strong support network that we have and that we've built over the years, over the 20 plus years that FIRST has been a program. Now, moving to college, I go to UW. UW is 46,068 students strong. Uh, that was a huge difference, moving from 1,700 up to 46,000. Uh, I felt like I was uh, awash in the sea of, of students and people uh, in Seattle, a city the size, you know, pretty big city, uh, and, but like, Fortunately for me, I had all of these people that I had met at these competitions. You know, throughout the four years that I was in FRC, um, I met many great friends and many great people who were there for me when I went to college. You know, showing up to a class of 300 people and knowing 10 people from the crowd that went to different high schools all across the state that I got to compete with and had known was uh, incredible. You know, it really made the school feel small and really allowed me to flourish as a person and as a student. Moving forward, um, at the end of my freshman year, I ended up getting a job at this really cool place uh, doing um, applied physics work for the US government. And that was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, there are about 450 people at my work at the Applied Physics Lab UW. Uh, unfortunately, or rather fortunately, all of them are 55 or 60 or older, and so there's this huge resource of knowledge. And these, these people are incredibly brilliant and smart. Um, but for me, that was scary, you know. The next youngest person in my team was like 57. That's a 30, 30 plus years of, of information that I had to catch up on and try and learn. Um, and that was really scary. But fortunately for me, there were other alumni at APL. There's an alumni from uh, 1983, Team Skunk Works, uh, who was there for me. You know, he was there for me and, and we worked together um, and it made, made sure that we felt like we belonged there, you know. It really helped establish this community. And since then, uh, and since I started working at APL, uh, uh, some of the other teams there, other programs, uh, recognized the, the hard work that Ross and I uh, had done at APL. And so now we have, I think, five first alumni in the teams that I work on. So we have alumni from 1983, Skunk Works. We have people from uh, 4542, Titanium Talons. We have people from 2930, Sonic Squirrels. And we have people from 5495, Illuminati. And so because of this incredible support network, you know, when I was needed help and struggling, people were there for me. First was there for me. And so when I was, you know, flourishing and growing and people were looking for, hey, wow, these, these students are doing really well. We want more people like you. I went back to the community that had fostered me in and brought me up uh, to, to help support them. You know, uh, a quote that I really like is, we rise by lifting others. So thank you for, for help lifting me up and for rising me, and I'm gonna try and do the same for you all. So let's have a great competition today. It's gonna be a fantastic event. Go first, go FRC, and let's make this event wonderful. Thanks, Dennis, Ravian. Oh, awesome job. Thank you, Ian. And uh, seriously, ask him about that submarine thing, because I want to know. Um, while we're on the subject of the Sonic Squirrels, just real quickly, where'd Sean go? Uh, if you see Squirrelio wandering around, he looks a lot like Mario, but he's tall and wearing orange. 
Uh, say hi and like get a picture or something because it's super cool. All right, uh, I've got some people to say hello to. First of all, where's Squirrelio? There he is. Just wave, Sean. Just wave. That's from our host team, the Sonic Squirrels. And maybe it's just me, but I think he's in a really cool costume. So I have a microphone. I get to shout him out. Very cool. All right, um, let's say hello to our judges sitting right down here in the blue shirts, led by judge advisor Carrie Shu. Stand up and give away. You all know the drill with them. They will be out and about talking to you in the pits, trying to learn everything they possibly can about your teams and with the unenviable task of deciding who gets to take home all the various awards that we give out yesterday. So be nice to your judges. Um, also, I need to say hello to your referees right back here, led by head referee Andy Yeko. Teams, you also know the deal with this one. If you have questions before, during, or after a match, well, probably not during, but before or after a match, uh, send a team member to the question box. We also knew this year we have a self-service question box, so uh, feel free and go avail yourself of the self-service question box, and it might be able to solve your problems without disrupting Andy's routine. Uh, also with us today are safety advisors from Underwriters Laboratories in the red shirt. Our lead safety advisor is Tovia Batalea. And as always, we appreciate them being here, keeping all of you safe, keeping all of us safe, making sure everybody is doing the right thing. Have a safety plan. Make sure you know what's going on in your pits. Feel free to ask around if there are any questions. Safety is the most important thing. Nothing you do this weekend with your robot, with your awards, with your team is going to be more important than keeping yourselves intact and functioning and vertical. So please, Pay attention to all of that. Uh, and speaking of safety, this year has, I gotta say, one of the coolest safety animations I have seen in my years doing this, uh, courtesy of Team 2877, the Liger Bots from Newton, Massachusetts. And we will take a few minutes and show that right now. Play it safe this season. Sleep to power up. Being alert is important for staying safe. Collect those safety glasses. Pick up parts and tools and put them away to score points. Oh no, a falling battery. Don't cross that acid pit. Know your team's procedures when dealing with hazards. Look out for that robot. Make sure it's disabled before you come near it. You're almost there, just a few more steps. Now you can level up for safety. All right, so um, we just heard from Ian, who is doing really cool thing. Uh, students, who would like to go to college and do really cool things like Ian is doing? Okay, cool. Parents, who would like to pay for college so your kids can do really cool things like Ian is doing? <laughs> I see no hands. Excellent. Um, fortunately, we can help. Uh, first is up to, I believe the number is $50 million in scholarships from over 200 colleges and universities, many of which are exclusively available to first program alumni. Uh, it is and a lot of money, there are a lot of great opportunities. Good bits of it go unclaimed because people don't know. Don't let that be you. Apply for scholarships. And uh, I don't know that much about it, so let's watch the video and hear a little bit more. This is the story of invention. An idea brought to life by the stirring in someone's heart. The dreams of today are but visions of tomorrow. We are first. And we are here to open doors for great minds. First participants and alumni gain access to our network of hundreds of providers and millions of dollars in scholarship money, available exclusively to first participants around the world. You've already taken the first step. Let us help you find out how much farther the road goes. This
All right, please do, students, check, log online, check out the scholarship page, learn more about that. Don't let those opportunities pass you by. You never know what's out there that you, just by virtue of being a first student, are eligible for and could help you go to the college of your dreams. So take advantage of those opportunities. Uh, okay, let's see, who else do I have to talk about? Oh yes, speaking of students, we have some very special students with us today. Our Dean's List semi-finalists. These are students nominated by their teams for their outstanding leadership, their outstanding presence in the first community and in their local teams and communities. Uh, two of these students are going to be selected to move on to the semi-finalist status at the district championship. Uh, but at this moment, we'd like to recognize all of the students who are nominees at this event right up here on our big screen. And those students, please stand up and be recognized. Being nominated for Dean's List really is quite an honor. We're very proud of all of those students. Um, those of you uh, who are freshmen and sophomores especially, find one of them, talk to them, find out what it takes to get nominated by your team and what FIRST is doing for them and how you can emulate them as much as possible. And to all of those students, good luck in your interviews today and we're excited to find out who will move on. Uh, one more group we need to say thank you to. Uh, we've got some people here who spend a whole lot of time building robots and then have to sit in the stands and watch because they're not allowed to come out here and play. Mentors and coaches, can I have you all stand up? And students, can I have you all cheer and scream and yell and clap for your mentors and coaches and all they do for you? Students, most of you know that your mentors and coaches, by and large, are giving their time for free to come and help you do the amazing things you do. Uh, you may not know that, in fact, in many cases, you get paid for your mentors and coaches being there, as a lot of the companies that our mentors and coaches work for have volunteer matching. So give them a big you know, a pre show of appreciation whenever you see them, and never let it go unsaid how much they do for you. All right, I think I'm done, so let's bring out the newly formed Glacier Peak Event Choir, and I will ask everyone to please rise, remove your hats, and face the flag for the performing of our national anthem. Well, 
uh, my arcade here is looking a little dull. Who's ready to power up? That's what I like to hear. Let's bring our teams up. Let's get these robots ready to play. And while they do that, I'd like, you to, I'd like to introduce you to the other voice you will hear all weekend long, my partner, Mr. Brian Andrews. Good morning, Glacier Peak. 